Do you know Visual Statements? The company Visual Statements? If not, then in a minute, which I think is a very good idea. It is uh, Germany's biggest social publisher, reaching 50% of all German millennials and with an audience of 30 million people per month. Um, we will now introduce you uh, the business model, including e-commerce, retail, and na native advertising. And here we have Kerstin Sch Schiefelbein, she's the CEO, and Ben Böckenförder, who's the founder and social media publisher at Visual Statements. Very happy to have you here. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thanks for having us. Um, let us introduce ourselves. So my name is Ben. I'm 37 years old and I founded Visual Statements in 2014 and today I'm focused on content and native advertising. Hello also from my side, I'm Kerstin Schiefelbein. I have a very long career in media and I joined Visual Statements in 2016. I wanted to join a fancy social media company <laughs> and today I'm focusing on selling mainly paper products. <laughs> No. <laughs> okay, so let me give you a uh, better idea of what Visual Statements is. We are a media company targeting millennials with snackable content. Uh, here you can see some of our examples, some of our brands and some of the content. It, within the last three years, we built a network of very successful social media brands. And uh, today, our brands, um, we gain more interactions than any other publisher on Facebook with all our brands together. Let us look behind the scene. Um, what happens in our company in a month, what you might not see from the outside, and we want to share with you. So 28 million people interact every month with our content. We gain um, gener generically 50,000 new fans and followers that we attract with our brands. And 35 million people are reached through our content, even though we only have a network of 2.5 million fans and followers. And um, within that, 50% of all millennials in Germany, we contact each month at least one time. And in the end, we sell 250,000 products content-related products and um, unique products that we produce ourselves via online and as well in 600 outlets offline. Let me tell you how uh, we get a media company out of a Facebook page. So in 2011, I launched the Facebook page Visual Statements. I was totally into social media and I was fascinated by the possibilities to reach people um, besides my studies, I was uh, working in media companies and there was one thing I learned. If you reach people, you can always make money out of that. So, still today and in 2011, we have the same goal. Reaching people with universal stories that translate into very personal experiences. I will get to that later. The secret of our success lies in two really simple learnings. And the first learning came with this visual statements in 2012. It was one of the first we published on visual statements and I shared this visual statement on my private profile while I was cooking in my new apartment and just didn't make it. So, and in the end, <coughs> all I learned was how to be strong alone. And suddenly all my friends wrote me, hey Ben, are you heartbroken? What happened? Did your girlfriend lost you? And I just didn't make it to cook. <laughs> So in this really moment, I realized words have power even more on social media. And my second realization came with this posting. I still like the quote, it's one of my favorites today, but uh, I will never forget the reaction as we published this visual statement in August 2012. The people wrote me, hey Ben, what's wrong with visual, visual statements? This is looking so <laughs> ugly. This is not why we laugh visual statements. <laughs> so our second learning was looks are important too and that's when I realized that uh, design is an essential part of our visual statements DNA. So this is how a visual statement looks today, how it speaks, how it looks and yeah the adventure begins. So where we are right now um, 
if you have a look on our journey, which started in 2011 with uh, Ben's um, more or less um, private um, uh, interest, um, the people um, or the audience grew um, uh, step by step and also already in 2013 people asked us, can we print, can you send us the, the, the post, can we print it out, can we put it in our photo book or all these kind of on-demand um, um, printing um, possibilities that brought up the idea to create products out of the quotes and the statements and sell these products um, to the people was on a very small scale. We started with posters and t-shirts. So um, uh, 2014, um, the company was built due to the reason it was not a company before. So <laughs> selling product means in Germany, you should probably um, have, the, the, uh, have a company. So uh, 2014, a company was built with one fa Facebook page and six uh, t-shirt designs. And um, the experience to sell products to people was on a very small scale, but positive, people bought. And um, so um, the year 2014 and 15 was a trial and error period um, where we adopted um, the content model to new brands. Uh, we come to this point, how we, we, we come to new brands and um, launched uh, new Facebook pages and Instagram pages um, on new brands. And um, we developed um, the product portfolio to a much larger um, portfolio. Um, so 2015 still was just an online uh, distribution um, uh, way for us, for the content as well for the products. So we sold them in our own online shop. And um, uh, the result of 2015 was so surprisingly and, 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 and surprising, positive surprisingly, that we had to um, uh, professionalize the company in 2016 because we couldn't even scale the business <laughs> because there were no processes, there were no... Um, there was uh, nothing. There was nothing. <laughs> yeah, so... And, um, 2016 was for us the year to professionalize what we did uh, in case of content creation as well as distribution and product um, uh, production. And um, in 2016, we already um, uh, could manage um, to convince um, big retail chains um, to sell our products. And we had to prepare in 2016 ourselves to deliver goods uh, all over Germany and even Austria and um, Switzerland. So it was a, a year of learning online and preparing offline. And um, more or less luckily, we didn't expect that. In 2017, a new business model came to us, we, we could say that, because um, luckily Facebook opened the branded content tool um, to the German market, which meant that we can sell our uh, reach on Facebook um, also to um, international brands and, 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 and create campaigns for them. And so our business model, the native advertising model, launched in 2017. So nowadays um, we base on these um, two um, monetization um, possibilities. If you look, what is Visual Statements as a company today? First, it was Visual Statements as a Facebook page, but today it's also a company. We have 32 employees. We have two offices in Germany, one in Freiburg and one here in Berlin. And um, we have a profitable company from day one on because we are a privately owned company and um, uh, we don't have any investors, so we have to be profitable, which also works very well. And um, our assets are 11 social media brands um, today and more to come. We have designed over 100 different products which we sell um, uh, uh, online and offline. And um, our database has 30,000 tagged statements, um, also tagged um, uh, in, 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 in the way of uh, themes, but also tagged with data points that we collected. And as we said, 30 million reach, 28 million interactions. And our monetization models is commerce, meaning e-commerce, Amazon is an is a, uh, important uh, partner, and uh, 600 outlets nowadays. And um, we, the other um, uh, pillow is uh, media uh, sales, which is native advertising, and which we come to in a minute as well. But everything is data-driven in our company. It's not that we sit there and have great ideas only <laughs> and um, we think uh, people have to like our ideas. It's more or less today the other way around. The DNA of our company is content and uh, Ben gives you a deep dive in our content strategy in a minute. But the content is the vehicle to, to, um, to generate engagement. So we have to 
tell the stories that people like and, and trigger stories to create engagement. And the engagement is, of course, uh, interactions with our content. And this is how we generate our reach. And every interaction generates a data point. So um, every month we have uh, huge millions and millions of, of data points that we analyze um, with our tools. And we use these data points um, to generate, on the one hand, new brands, because we see in our content what topics um, um, are trending and, and, and even more trending so that we think it's worth to build a new brand. For example, uh, one brand it's uh, full-time princess or it's, um, uh, uh, my, it's a German word, Lieblingsmensch means my, my, my most important person in my life. And all these brands um, we generate out of our content and the trends we see. Um, and on the other hand, um, we generate the products out of our content because we analyze the best performing statements um, uh, in a period. And um, we, we, we think about how can we bring these uh, uh, statements to life into real life, meaning how can we put them on products and um, that people want to buy. And uh, we see that the best performing, and we already know what the people um, um, interact and, and like, so our product risk is very low. And um, on the other hand, we also see trends many times before it is seen in the markets. For example, uh, one example is the unicorn trend, which we f very long time ago saw already, and uh, two and a half years ago, we already had a Miss Unicorn. And um, we do also events out of it and make it, uh, bring it to life. And um, from last year on, we use our data also for native advertising because we already know, and, and you have to understand, um, we guarantee the reach we sell um, to our um, brands or par brand partners. And therefore, we use our data, as we know, in, in their context, what kind of statements work, what kind of language work, because we design all uh, campaigns for them. And last but not least, it's an everyday job, and we improve our content and content formats by analyzing on a daily, even hourly basis. Um, our um, uh, uh, content performance. So our content managers are creative people, very creative people, but mainly data-driven. Okay, uh, let's uh, have a closer look to our game plan for viral content and what you can learn out of, out of that. Kerstin um, just told you that content is the heart of visual statements and out of content our, uh, is our whole business model. Our content strategy, in order to reach people, content has to be engaging. And in order to make money out of it, our content has to be transferable. What does engaging mean? Engaging means three things for us. Content has to be valuable, it has to be shareable, and it has to be authentic. I'll give you some examples. So on the upper left, you see a posting about the start of the new TV show of The Bachelor. So in this case, the value of this posting, uh, like this posting is valuable for the target group because it has an information. Could be another value, could be, for example, self-representation. So our target group is really trend-orientated. So even if they like The Bachelor or not, they want to talk about it. So this is an example for valuable. On the upper right, uh, you see an example for a shareable posting. You remember what I told you in the beginning about universal stories that translate into very personal experiences. Everybody has a universal, for everybody it's a universal experience um, being with your colleagues at work and everybody has a really private experience with that. And um, some, now you can see some authentic uh, statements below. For example, the one on the right side, the German opposite of umfahren, running something over, is umfahren, drive around something. Good luck mastering this language. So this is what our target group expects from us. It's written in the language of the millennials. So what happens if it goes, if we do it right? With one single posting last year, we reached over six million people on Facebook and we generated 700 50,000 interactions. Let's have a look at the posting. Uh, tech, an ex-coworker you miss because she was so funny and always made you laugh. So now all the, I'm sure you will ask yourself, Oof, is this meaningless engagement baiting? What visual statements does? And we say, well, it's engagement baiting, but it's not meaningless. See the comments under the posting, they tell their private stories, they tag their friends. And 
this is what Zuckerberg told us two months ago that the only way you can still reach people on Facebook is with meaningful interactions. This are meaningful interactions and this is the only way you will reach people on Facebook. Let's have a look at our monetization strategy. Our content has to be transferable. Transferable for us means two things. It has to work in a variety of contexts and brands, and it has to work as a product. Let's have a look how the content works for our own brands at the example for Valentine's Day. So on full-time brands, she's asking, uh, does anyone still want my address for sending me flowers, love letters, and chocolates? On our brand work pawn, they search for a drinking buddy for Valentine's Day. And on visual statements, you can see a really emotional visual statements you can send, for example, to your boyfriend. So what works for us works for these brands too. That's why it's transferable. And how do we know that? Because we, made, we, made, we are making native advertising campaigns, for example, for these clients. Let me give you an example for one of the most successful campaigns we had last October for Vodafone. So in here you can see all the typical makings of a visual statements postings. We adopted them one to one. And you can see the new slogan of the Vodafone's global campaign was the future is exciting ready. And out of that we made this visual, this visual statement and we guaranteed the reach for um, Vodafone. And let's have a look what happens. This single posting had 1.8 million net views. It has an interaction rate from, from over 6% and it was 42.6 outperforming to an average posting on visual statements. So it was even better working than an editorial posting. And it was branded content. In that time. Here you can see how we make products out of our content. Even we develop new pr products like the statement cookies um, or we just um, print our most successful statements on a poster like you can see on the left. Yeah, coming uh, to the beginning, uh, what we learned from media companies and how we, we compare ourselves to or how we, we, we think we are self a media company is um, what is uh, our DNA is the DNA of every of, of your companies. We are authentic storytellers. Um, we have strong media brands, in that case social media brands, and we are based on reach uh, or base our business model on reach. What differentiates us um, from a traditional media company is um, we, are, um, we are focused on shareable content. Um, we don't own any of our platforms because we use platforms like uh, Facebook, Amazon, um, uh, even retail shops, which is uh, uh, amazing. Um, we we um, are very much engagement focused, so we don't generate um, reach um, through um, selling our content, but we engage our audience and after that we sell the content. And um, our products that we sell, um, uh, people don't have to pay um, for our content. They pay more or less for the product which we create out of the content and bring it to their lives. And, and on the other hand, of course, we sell um, uh, the media campaigns. Um, and um, last but not least, but uh, very essential is uh, that we, we always create interaction. We always create um, uh, 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 two-sided um, uh, uh, yeah, relationship to our audience and um, this is what what makes our business model very attractive and very successful. What's next for us? Um, we are going international um, because we know our system can be adopted to other markets. We had already um, made some tests in other languages um, but um, we would be very interested um, to talk to the specialists out of these countries um, because um, uh, there are many, many questions we have how to internationalize this model. Um, but we have a very good matrix um, we see, which, which, is also, which we can also internationalize and would be happy to exchange with, with, with people of you um, what you think about that. So um, welcome to talk to us. Great. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Tom, running out of time, a very quick question. Where do you get the imagery from? Do you partner with a stock? 
sure. company. So for yeah. all the images. You mean the images? All the um, images yeah, you work we, with. Because we, text is generated in your house. Yeah, so. we have we, we license the text, we'll, yeah, okay. uh, the, the images, and yeah. Okay. Thank you for great storytelling. Thank Thank you. Please connect with them. <laughs>